The MACD trading indicator is one of the most powerful trading indicators available in the market. So in this video, I'm going to focus on three main things. The basics behind the MACD indicator, some powerful strategies, and how to use it in your trading strategies to increase your win rate. So you've probably seen this MACD indicator, which includes the histogram, the signal, and the 9 EMA line of the signal. But have you ever wondered what's this histogram? Well, this histogram indicates momentum. So imagine a guy is running a track and the first 50 meters, it takes him five seconds. From the start to 100 meters, it takes him seven seconds. Eight seconds for 150 and nine seconds for 200 meters. So from his speed records, we can get the acceleration. In the beginning, it, he was slow, he got faster. Now we're going to translate this into a histogram. When the acceleration is zero, it means that on the histogram it's zero. But when the acceleration is at its peak, on the histogram we're going to see the highest green candle. Same idea if the acceleration is negative. We're going to see a negative histogram. So this histogram shows momentum shifts. It's the same idea in trading. But how can we apply this on charts? Let me show you now. So this is the settings for the MACD line. We have the 12 EMA, 24 EMA and 9 EMA line. So let's plot the 12 EMA and 24 EMA line on the charts. And we get the value of the signal line by subtracting the value of 24 EMA minus the value of 12 EMA line. We explained in the moving average video that we can have buy and sell signals with the moving average. If the fast line crosses up with the slow line, it's a buy signal, and the inverse, it's a sell signal. But as we can see from the signals, the buy and sell signals are a bit lagging. That's why moving average are a lagging indicator. Then what changed between the moving average cross up and the MACD indicator? We still have the third input that we still did not explain, which is the 9 EMA line. After watching the moving average video, you know that you know how to plot the moving average lines. So the 9 EMA line that we talked in MACD inputs is the 9 EMA line of the MACD signal. If you're confused a bit, think about the 24 and 12 EMA lines on the price chart. It's the same thing in the MACD chart. Now, this is the interesting part. The histogram. How the histogram is derived from all of this. We can get the histogram chart by subtracting the value of the MACD line minus the value of the 9 EMA line. Now that you know the math behind the MACD indicator, you'll understand perfectly why it's a leading indicator and the MA strategy or moving average are a lagging indicator. Let's take an example at this cross up. When it crossed, the stock price it was already at its high. But when the MACD crossed up, it was just in the beginning of the momentum shift. If you realize when 12 EMA and 24 EMA have the largest gap between them, that's where the MACD have either a sell signal or buy signal. If you remember from the racing guy, when he started to shift acceleration either from positive to negative, that's where the histogram is at the highest point or it was at its lowest point. I even have a shorting strategy where I get in short using two moving averages, but I realized that when it crosses I'm already late, so I was getting in when the gap between the two moving averages are the largest. <laughs> so I started to think about making an indicator for this. And with more research, I found that this is how the MACD works. <laughs> this lucky <laughs> was born before me and he made the indicator. No, but seriously, imagine how smart you need to be to take the two moving average to add into another chart, add another 9EMA to it and make a histogram out of it. So now we know the basics of the MACD indicator, where to buy and sell. 
I'm going to show you how to use in your trading strategies to increase your win rate because not every buy or sell signals are accurate. For example, the buy signal at $132 was not accurate and the price continued to drop. So the best place that I like to use the MACD indicator when the price is around support levels. When the stock price is at a support level and the MACD shows a buy signal, I buy. Where do I get out of the trade? Please watch the moving average video. That's what I use for my exit signals. Another great way to use the MACD indicator is using 200 moving average. 200 moving average shows the general trend of a stock. So if the slope of 200 moving average is positive, it means the stock is on an uptrend. So we're going to focus on buy signals. So this stock was on an uptrend and we got a buy signal on the MACD indicator which was here. So we got in on the trade and we tried to ride the trend. Now that we know perfectly how the MACD works and where and how to use them, I'm going to show you some real life example on my swing trading alerts. The first example is on COST. As you can see COST has a great support here and stochastic rsi and the market indicator they are oversold i use and the macd indicator as a double confirmation or as a triple confirmation for my swing trading entries trading is a game of probability the more confirmation we have the more our win rate will increase so as you can see i use these three indicators to increase my win rate in my trading strategies so as we can see on MACD, it was oversold and it was right about to cross up. So I started a position right there. And you can see the result. MACD did a great move and as soon as I saw that the histogram started to shift momentum, I increased my position, which was right here. So as you saw, I used MACD as a double confirmation for my entries. Same thing on INFO. I said that MACD just started to shift momentum here. I use other, conf other trading indicators and a good support level here for double or triple confirmation. And I got in on the trade. You can see the result of INFO. Check how it performed exactly as planned and it reached target. So I saw here a shift in momentum. I got in. And you can see the result. MACD started to cross up and it reached target and I took profits. Here's another example on SPGI. I don't need to repeat the same things, but you start to understand my point on great support, multiple confirmations. And you can see the result that it did an amazing 8% move. Same strategy and the same analysis. I hope you guys learned something new today. Make sure you subscribe and see you in the next video.